What we're going to be going over here is cost, volume, profit analysis, where we're going to be looking at our operating income equation here, and we're going to tie this operating income equation into a cost, volume, profit graph. So let's first go and get a basic understanding of what this cost, volume, profit graph is. So what I'm showing here, I've got this blue line here, and it has an increasing slope on it, and that's really what we can call our profit volume line here. So the idea is here, if you have a certain product you're selling, you increase the units that you sell on the product, you're going to generate a greater operating income. So for our graph here along our x-axis, this is going to be the unit sold starting from 0 to 300. So uh, you have an increasing amount of units that you're going to be selling here on your x-axis. And then along your y-axis, that's really our operating income. And uh, that would be an increasing amount here as well. Now, looking at our profit volume line here, uh, generally you're going to have some fixed cost here on the product. So this is where you're going to start with a negative operating income. And you're not going to you're going to not going to have any positive operating income until you hit some break-even point here on unit sales. That means uh, you're going to be selling at a loss up until you hit the break-even point and then beyond the break-even point you're going to be having an actual positive operating income here. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Now let's go up and let's look at our equation here and do some numbers here and then come back and look at how they tie into our graph. Okay, so for our operating income equation, that's really the selling price here and we're looking at it on a per unit basis here minus the variable cost. Now on a per unit basis. And then whatever that difference is, you take that times your quantity sold. And in this case, we'll be looking at 170 units, for example. And then whatever your quantity you come up with here, that you'd have to subtract out your fixed cost. So really, you ha and that's gonna equal your operating income. All right, so when we're talking about our selling, we've got really two costs here. We've got our variable cost here, and we're going to have some fixed costs. So we got two different costs here. But uh, what you're going to, when you're using this operating income equation, you're really looking at a contribution margin here. And on a per unit basis, that's really your selling price minus your variable cost. Now, the difference here between your selling price and your variable cost times your quantity sold, that would be your total contribution a margin here. But um, and then you'd have to subtract out any fixed costs from that total contribution margin, again, to determine your operating income. So let's just go through our example here. So for our, our contribution margin, that's really our selling price here minus our variable cost. Again, that equals the contribution margin here on a per unit basis. So for our example here, we have a selling price of $50 per unit. We have a variable cost here of $30 per unit. So the difference here is going to give us our contribution margin here of $20 per unit. So what we're saying here is that each unit that we sell here, we're going to have a profit or a profit or a profit a profit here of $20 per unit or a contrib are going towards operating income. So we're going to on a, on a per unit basis for each unit we sell, we're going to have $20 here in operating income. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to determine our operating income. So that's really taking our, uh, in this case, that 170, uh, uh, our quantity that we're going to have sell here of 170 units, take that times our selling price here of $50 per unit. That's going to give us what we're looking at our total revenue here that we have of $8,500. Now we take our those quantity sold here 170 times our variable cost here of $30 per unit. That's going to give us our total variable cost here of $5,100. Now we have to subtract out our fixed cost and for our example we're going to have $2,000 here in fixed cost. So that's going to net out uh, subtracting our fixed cost here from total revenues minus our total variable cost, that's 3400 here for those that amount subtract out at $2,000 in fixed cost from the 3400 here, total revenues minus 
total variable cost. That's going to give us our operating income here of $1,400. So now we're going to go and we're going to tie these numbers in here on our graph. But first, let's go and let's start with our graph here. So the key is we start with our fixed cost here. And that's a negative operating income in this case. And for our example, we're going to have $2,000 here in fixed cost. Now, that's constant. When we talk about uh, fixed cost, that's constant for whatever number of units you sell. So if you sell zero units you're still or one unit, you're still going to have a negative uh, $2,000 here in operating income. And then as you increase your unit sales, your fixed cost just remains here at $2,000. Now, uh, looking, moving up our line here. So we're going to have uh, we're going to move up to, we have to determine a break-even point here on this profit volume line. And that's simply taking the $2,000 here in fixed cost and divide it by our contribution uh, margin per unit here. That was that $20, the $50 here in uh, selling price minus $30 in variable cost for $20 per unit. So you have, you're going to have uh, up until this point here, and the break-even point here is 2,000 here. Our fixed costs minus the are divided by your uh, cost, uh, mar our contribution margin per unit here of $20. That gives you our break-even point here of 100, 100 units. So we're going to have a loss here based on our fixed cost up until the point here where we've sold 100 units. Now, beyond our any sales beyond those 100 units here is going to start generating a positive operating income. So we start out here at zero operating income up until uh, up until the point here that we hit that break even point and that's that hundred dollars. Now moving up our our profit volume line here we're going to get up to the point here where we've sold 170 units for our example. So tracing that up here our up our x-axis here up to our profit volume line here uh, this is the case here where we're going to be able to determine our operating income here. So 170 units sold here is going to translate into $1,400 here in operating income. Now, this is how we go and calculate that. Now, remember uh, those $20 here in contribution margin per unit here times the 170 units that we sell. That's going to equal our total contribution margin here of $3,400. So going down here and looking at it, that is a $20 per unit contribution margin times the 170 units sold. There's our $3,400 yeah, uh, in total contribution dollars here. Now subtracting out our fixed cost, those are the $2,000 here in fixed cost, from our total contribution of $3,400 give us our operating income here of $1,400. Okay, so let's go back to our equation here that we, our calculations that we made and see where that ties in on our graph here. So the $3,400 here in total contribution margin dollars here, that would be sitting here with on our y-axis, that's that negative 2,000 here in operating income up to 14, a positive amount here, $1,400. So we have that spread here, 2,000 negative up to zero, then we start going positive here up to $1,400. So that gives us the $3,400 here in contribution, or the total contrib uh, contribution margin here. Now, we have to subtract out the fixed cost here. That was that $2,000. Now, those were, we started here with the 2,000, up, so we had that negative operating income up until the zero amount here to 2000 Now, that difference here, 3400 minus the 2000 in fixed cost, gives us the operating income here of $1,400. So 3400 the our A amount here, that was our total spread here from the negative 2000 up to the positive 1400 And then our fixed cost, that 2000 here, that was our B amount here I'm showing here from negative 2000 up to zero uh, operating income here. And then the C amount here, the $1,400 here, that was from our, that's our C amount here from zero operating income here up to the $1,400 based on those 170 units sold. Okay, so that's, that's how this cost volume profit 
works here. Now we can move up here and let's just look at the case here where we can actually, using a, our simple line equation here, we can determine our operating income here based on unit sales. Now what you're looking at here with this line here is really your change of Y, that's your operating income here, divided by your change in X, those are the units sold. So using, and that has a slope here of 20 here, and that's simply taking our change of, our slope here is 20 or $20 here per unit because we, that's the $50 selling price minus the variable cost here, $30. And you have a $20 contribution margin here per unit based on every unit you sell. So that's where you get your slope of 20. So just plugging it into your uh, line equation here, that's where Y equals M times X, the number of units sold here, M being the slope, plus B here. Well, B is that fixed cost here. You start out with, um, in this case, you'd have to subtract 2,000 here in your equation. So Y here, what your operating income here, uh, whatever amount that would be is just 20 uh, uh, contribution margin here or slope of $20 here per unit times your number of units you sell but then you'd have to subtract uh, adding your B intercept essentially that your line intercept here is a, a negative 2000 so that's where your uh, X and Y axis intercept so Y a B here is really your Y intercept Okay, so you can just use this equation here to determine uh, what your operating income would be based on units sold. Okay, so that's just the alternative way of looking at what we've done here. Okay, and then one last thing that we want to look at is, uh, let's look at it here, this contribution margin as a percentage moving down here. That's really your selling price minus your variable cost divided by your selling price. And then you're going to come up with some contribution margin percentage here. So in our example, we had that $50 selling price minus our variable cost here, $30, divided by the selling price here of $50 is gonna give us a contribution uh, percentage here of 40%. So how you would use that here is, this is saying here for, so for every dollar of revenue, you're gonna have 40 cents here is gonna be a contribution margin on a per unit basis. Dollar of revenue you coming in, 40, uh, 40 cents of that is your contribution margin here. So for our example here, we are going to have, remember our total revenue here was $8,500. Let's go up and look at it. That, that was our $50 selling price here times 170 units. That gives us a total revenue here of $8,500. Now, going back to our on a percentage basis here. So we've got our total revenue here of $8,500 times that per a contribution margin percentage here, 40%, that gives us $3,400 here. So you can see where that, how that was figured here, just using our percentage. The $3,400 here, that was our total contribution margin here in a per, uh, total dollars here in contribution margin. That was that $20 here uh, per unit contribution margin times the 170 units sold. That was that total amount here uh, that we're showing here, our A amount here in operating income. Although it was a negative 2,000 here for starting off for a fixed cost, we, in, we increased it up to zero here uh, based on that break, those break even numbers here. And then when we go on beyond that, we actually had our a positive operating income here of 1,400. Uh, dollars here. So that's the, just using this percentage here, just taking your, figuring that out, sales price minus your variable cost on a per unit basis divided by your sales price, you're going to come up with some percentage here that, and contribution margin, in this case it was 40%. Take total, figure out what your total revenues would be. In this case, that was uh, $50 here per unit times 170 units sold gives us 8,500, 40% of that gives us $3,400. That's our 
actual total contribution here. Uh, and we had to cover our fixed cost, the first 2000 here had to cover our fixed cost, and then what remained of the 3400 or the 2000 here less that $3,400 here gave us our operating income here of $1,400. Okay, so we had a lot of numbers to look at here, but we, we went through here looking at this cost volume profit graph here and how we tied it into our operating income equation.